Good day, bearded adventurers. It is I, the Wizard of Fable Beard Company, where every beard has a story. Today, I'm going to show you why we use them and how to use restrictor tops. May your beard be forever blessed and treasure forever upon your door. Welcome back to another video. My name is Colin Gray from Fable Beard Company, where every beard has a story. If you're looking for bearded tips, tricks, storytelling, and adventure, look no further. Hit that subscribe button right now, as well as liking the video and leaving a comment down in the comment section below, because we love engaging with each and every one of you. Today's video is going to be all about restrictor tops. We recently switched to them, and there's been some questions and concerns from people who aren't familiar with how to use them in the past, and specifically why we decided to use restrictor tops. We did have a video on this um, a little while back, but I thought I'd give you a little bit more of an in-depth instruction on how to use these restrictor tops. So this is your traditional bottle of beard oil. Uh, normally they come with a plastic safety seal around the edge so you know that it's fresh when it arrives to your door, but these things are not known for reliability. There is a lot of things that can go wrong within this top here, specifically in the shipping process. That package gets knocked around, thrown around, hot, cold, all sorts of crazy stuff. Bottles are laid on their side, and all of that oil just pools around this little apparatus on the top. But the problem with that dropper top is it's a three-part component system. So you can pull this out here, and all of these little pieces have the ability to leak or break. So after years of having them and after years of replacing orders with them uh, just for leakage and whatnot, we decided to go ahead and just get rid of them. So instead we switched over to this restrictor top. Now I'm gonna show you with a uh, normal bottle of beard oil first. This one here is the Wizard that is coming out uh, on April 2nd. And when you open up your bottle, when you get it home, you'll notice this initial seal. This is a food grade a safety seal, which allows it to maintain its absolute most uh, freshness um, for as long as possible. So no extra air is gonna get into this. If you keep this bottle around um, and store it just as it is when you get it and you don't use it for a while, it's gonna stay fresh for much longer just because of that seal. So, but you've got your new beard oil and you wanna break right into it. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna see a little baggie. Um, every single bottle of beard oil that you buy with us, you should have a little baggie to go along with it. You might have to search around in the crinkle paper, crinkle, you might have to search around in the crinkle paper, but it will be there. It'll be inside your package. And you wanna break out that little piece of plastic here and go ahead and pull off your seal. Once your seal is pulled off, you'll notice that the uh, restrictor top here has a smaller end and a larger end that goes on top. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna set it nicely on top there, and then give it a few pushes down, one click, two click, three clicks, and it's in there. And, and that, that's all, it's never gonna come out. Well, you could pull it out, but it's gonna be really hard to do. And then you may ask yourself, well, how do I get the beard oil out, and how do I know how much to use? It's just kind of a feel thing, it's not really that difficult. You can turn it upside down, you can shake it if you want, you can, I like to give it a few taps and you'll see it come out there on the bottom. And usually that's enough beard oil for me. It's really not that difficult. Not much gets on it. Um, and then you can just go ahead and put the lid on it afterwards. <clears throat> so we're not going to waste this here. I'm going to go ahead and put it into my beard. I might as well smell like a wizard if I'm going to be the wizard. So it's pretty much that easy. Restrictor tops are not too terribly difficult. They do have another seal inside the cap, which allows you to maintain that freshness even after you put that in there. And overall, it's just a much better system once you get down to using that versus the dropper. You know, you don't really wanna put stuff directly down in on that anyways. Most people rub it into their hands and then get their fingers in their beard and then work it through afterwards as well, so. Once again, my name is Colin Gray from Fable Beard Company, where every beard has a story. Please put it down in the comment section below. Do you prefer restrictor tops? Have you, If you've used droppers for a long time and you switched over to the restrictor since we did, are you enjoying them? Um, how easy are they for you to put in? Um, have you, do you like the seal that's on top of the bottle? We're just interested to know. 
as always, you can click that button in the top right hand corner and that will take you to a playlist of all of our other beard related videos. As always, until next time, may your beards be forever blessed and treasure forever upon your door.